everyone, I'm your Panda Observer Shirley. Now I'm at the Vitality Tower of Chengdu. It's my first time to come here. I'm so excited. There will soon be a world-class art performance, and I heard that there are 20 singers from eight countries. So come with me and have a look. It's my first time here. How did you like? And uh, I was like shocked for good because for first of all for the kindness of the people, I feel like uh, like home. <laughs> so, of course, I went to see the pandas. I went to see the giant Buddha in Leshan. So much culture and history here. It's incredible. Not enough time to see it all. I wish I could. <laughs> After the salon, we also chatted with some of the performers and creators of the opera gala about their trip to Chengdu. I have some questions about your trip in Chengdu. What's your impression of Sichuan? Um, it's a much bigger city than I anticipated Chengdu. We went to see the Great Panda and we went to the Old Town as well, which was fun. Yeah. Yes, my two favorite dishes are Mapa Dofu and Swan yeah. Sayu. And I discovered them in Germany actually. And now I came to where they come from. It's always when you have a signature food of a region and you go there and you can have it there. That's very nice. We know that Chengdu has um, been building an international music city. And so how do you think the music atmosphere of Chengdu? That was something. We had a sneak peek into a musical that they did in the rehearsal place when we once were there. It was just five minutes of a rehearsal, but in Chinese, so I was very curious about that. So I think it's a very vibrant city that has to, that is growing and has in, in culture and art and has to offer a lot. Where I'm standing now is a water curtain stage, which combines the iconic landscape of Chengdu and is built by the world-famous opera director and the stage design team. Standing here has become a kind of enjoyment. Let's look forward to the Icing Opera Gala.